Hi everybody, welcome to Fast Time Brew. I'm doing my experiment with the light again. So this is tasting day number 26 and I'm leaving beer in the sun to see how disgusting it gets. I've got some uh, some special experiments. Here they are. These are, these are different bottle colours which I use. I've got brown and green and clear. I was going to use Corona bottles for the clear ones but I came across these instead. So it looks like I dodged a billet there. And this is my um, Pilsner Citra Smash, um, which I haven't actually reviewed yet, but I thought this would be a nice good one to experiment with. So right now I'm just making sure that these ones that have been in the dark taste the same, and the answer is yes, they all do, they all taste the same, so experiment on in any time now. As soon as I'm finished going back and forth, same, good, okay. so. What are we doing here? Oh, yeah, this is funny. They're playing football without an audience. I am um, not locked in my home, but if Australia's going the same way as the rest of the world, uh, who knows when that'll happen. But, oh, I'm thinking of doing like a live tasting video with the um, everything stout. So if you're interested in that, let me know what time would suit you and I can tee that up. Anyway, back to the experiment. These guys are all going in the sun. Oh, um put them all socially distanced on this table here, set my set my stopwatch, and what I'm going to do is get them out of the sun at different amounts of time. It's a fairly overcast day today, which was a bit of a disappointment, but anyway, this one's had five minutes, so that one's going into the dark now. Now this one's had 20 minutes, so I'll make it disappear, and the last two, um, oh, the sun's coming out. That's an hour now, and then finally, after four hours of sunlight, this poor bugger gets to go inside and they're all going into the fridge so I'll just make some room there and put all those beers in the fridge and now I guess I'll put these in the safe that would probably be the best spot for them all right tasting time um, so this is my that's my control my brown control oh these one of these is 15 and one is 20 because guess which idiot forgot to write on the caps but those two are the hour and the four hour and I'm just looking to see if there's a color difference at all. Uh, not not a noticeable one if there is, so... Tell you what, taking those caps off, I can smell some pretty bad smells. So I'm guessing this experiment is going to be pretty useful, actually. So they're all equally cold now. Last time I did this experiment, I had problems where it was... Um, uh, one was getting warm and one wasn't. But anyway, uh, so what, this, this is the third one I'm tasting. And you know what? I can actually tell that that one is... Worse, even though, so that's the 5 and the 20, and I thought, overcast, maybe I won't be able to tell, but immediately I could tell that one was much worse than the other. That's the hour one, it tastes awful. This is the 4 hour one, I'm gearing myself up to try it because I can smell it, and yeah. Well, if I learned anything, is not let your son in the beer for like, even a small amount of time, 4 hours was disgusting. So, what I'm going to do is call this one 10 out of 10. And just, oh man, that is some gross stuff. I'm going to call this one 0 out of 10 and then do what it deserves and pour it down the sink. And then I'm going to grade all these in between. Um, so I reckon, you know, that one's really bad too. And it's the 4-hour one's at least 100 times worse. So, hey, we've all been learning about logarithmic scales lately. Let's consider this a logarithmic scale. So I reckon the 20 minutes one is pretty bad 4 out of 10 5 minute one has some damage to it but it's sort of drinkable I'll call that an 8 out of 10 I'm not saying my best beer is 10 out of 10 I'm just saying um, you know let's call it 10 out of 10 and, and grade them all anyway oh what am I doing here making some adjustments oh there you go 20 minutes got a little promotion then yeah 1 hour is so close to a 0 and the 4 hour one's just terrible anyway okay so different colour bottles the next day now what do we got we got brown and clear and green Oh, in the sun, and now I'm going to sit here. They're all getting an hour this time around. So this is an hour going by as Max runs past, and I'm sitting there trying to stop him from knocking the table over. And, okay, they've all been chilled in the fridge again. That's my control one. Let's see what difference the colour glass makes. So this guy, let's see, pour them all out. That's the brown and the green and the clear one. Very good. Very good. Okay, so... That one tastes as it should, which is nice and proper and good. Uh, I'm worried about this one. I know what it's going to be like. It is not good. That is not good. Okay, these two guys are the ones I'm interested in. So that one's actually, it's all right. 
and this one's uh, it's a bit worse it's in between so how am I going to grade these ones okay so I've got the 10 and the 1 on the board already um, so the brown bottle after an hour in the sun what are we doing give that a an, oh so that's a little bit better than five minutes in a clear bottle so the brown brown makes a good difference there and the green bottle uh, come on come on what am I doing stuffing it why am I drinking that it's terrible anyway no getting a prom oh getting demoted okay so anyway seven and a half and six and I guess that's my experiment pretty much done so well apparently I was the last person to learn that leaving your beer in the Sun is bad but maybe you haven't heard that so hopefully I just saved you from wasting some beer but hey it's a reasonable experiment give it a try yourself why not see what it actually means so thanks for watching the video bye oh and stay inside